A year and a half ago, I moved from Arizona to Puerto Rico for tax benefits. Since Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, the IRS offers amazing tax incentives if you move your family and your business to Puerto Rico. It's called Act 60 and it allowed me to go from almost the 50% combined state and federal income tax bracket to now a 4% tax bracket. Now, if you wanna learn more about how that tax incentive works, I did a video that explains it. I'll put the link in the description below and you can watch it later. But Act 60 isn't the only tax incentive available. There are actually several other incentives offered by Puerto Rico and two of them are specific to real estate investing. And these incentives are so big that nothing compares to them on the mainland. And the good news is you can get involved too. So to help you understand what they are, I sat down with my friend and expert investor, Robert Krager. Robbie has been doing real estate investing in Puerto Rico for almost five years, and I invited him to discuss these real estate incentives in detail and how you can get involved. Let's cut to the interview. There are some huge incentives that you and I believe make it an absolute no-brainer to not be doing real estate here. Yeah. There's some challenges, we'll talk about those as well, because it's not all upside. There are some challenges with investing in, on the island for sure. And I feel like if people just knew the opportunity that was here, mm -hmm. I think a lot more investment money would come. I think a lot more investors would come. First, explain to people what the uh, Tourism Act is. I think that's probably, that's one of, that's, my, that's near, one of the near favorites. Near yeah. <laughs> what is that and how does that work, big picture? So big picture, if you invest in tourism in Puerto Rico, there's a stated need for something around 100,000 more hospitality doors over the next decade, right? And they're trying to build up the tourism industry. It's never been the big part of the GDP for Puerto Rico, but they want to change that. So we're at about 6 7% of GDP tourism right now, and they want to go to 15%. So mm -hmm. they want to double that, right? Um, so for that, investing in these projects, you, you get a 40% tax credit on everything you do. So from purchase price to renovations and development through the first year operation and the first year marketing budget. So that's a Okay, gift. did you guys did you guys did you did you hear that? I hope you heard that. 40% tax credit. If I buy an oceanfront Airbnb that that meets that or or multifamily or boutique hotel So, or, so seven units is generally okay. what you need to to qualify and you'd call it a guest house. Okay. There's mul there's multiple different levels of it, guest house, hotel, you can do a, a, a traditional bed and breakfast. All of them will qualify, but you want to make sure that you're buying at least seven units is, is generally the... And so just to clarify, when we say hospitality, it's got to meet some specific requirements sure. to be... It can't just be a single family Airbnb right. that doesn't qualify. So the seven unit and up, couple other rules to follow. But if you invest in a project like that on the island, the government is saying, we want those. We want to serve this tourism community. We want to improve yeah. our tourism. We will give you a 40% of your total cost, yeah. acquisition, any rehab, back as a credit. That's right. I mean, that's like better than any flip you would ever do is to get 40%, it's, right? It's pretty crazy. So it's kind of like you flipped it for a 40% home run win, but mm -hmm. then kept the property. Yeah, yeah. And, and working with the tourism agency here on the island, they're a government agency. They're the best government agency that I've ever dealt with, right? Like, so you, we'll talk about some of the the hard parts of being in Puerto Rico, but working with tourism is not one of them. They bend over backwards for us to, to help us to qualify. They want right? you to they, win. They want us to win. They want, and they, and I've had them come out and they'll say, have you thought about this? You know, they, they know that I like to invest in, um, in upcycled shipping containers. And they'll say, have you thought about putting a couple more units over here? And I'm yeah. like, no, Hector, I didn't even think about that. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll, you know, yeah. and get 40% on that. And he's like, yeah, so. Uh, it, it's been a dream scenario to, to so, be able to so, work with these guys. So there's not all this bureaucracy or, you know, foreign government type of thing, barriers or any of that. It's very open to doing this. They are really very open friendly. to doing this. Very friendly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's exciting. I mean, guys, that alone, just that alone, nothing else is that alone. For me is why would I not be doing deals like that? Right. And the demand is here. Puerto Rico, you're seeing this big turnaround. I saw the statistics in... I think it was 2021 where Puerto Rico was in the top. It was in the top of uh, places, tourism, places yeah. to visit. It's it was a, number one in the U.S. It was it was the the best, uh, fastest growing tourism 
industry in the United States yeah. and all of the Caribbean as well. But uh, even the bigger market of the entire U.S., we had the fastest growing um, economy wise for for tourism. So so imagine doing a hospitality deal, getting 40 percent back cash in your pocket and you're keeping the asset to then cash flow yeah. as a hospitality. That's right. Yeah. And, I mean, <laughs> and we're not even talking about the fact that the deals that we get blow everything out of the water. That Like, I'm from Florida, so we know tourism. I can't possibly buy the same kind of ROI. product anywhere near the same you, ROI. You can't not, get an not ROI. Not even come close. Yeah, right? we'll talk on another video about a deal I'm doing with you that's like, on paper, is a, tw a 20 cap deal. Right. I mean, you would not, in your wildest dreams, find that deal yeah, for more right. than a six cap. In, in six Arizona, would be good. In, yeah, in Orlando, Florida, six would be good. <laughs> would be amazing. Right? Yeah, yeah, probably two or three cap. Right. At least the last few years, that's what we've. Seen. So phenomenal deals, yeah. massive opportunity, huge tax credit. So that's the that they used to be called Act seventy four. They call it now Tourism Act. Yeah. Right. Act sixty it's, tourism. It's yeah. Act sixty tourism. Okay. Now let's talk about opportunity zones. Some people probably yeah. listening have heard of that because in the states we have opportunity zones. The challenge with opportunity zone that I've always had is it's been in areas that I don't really want to invest in. Right. What's different about opportunity zone in Puerto Rico? Oh man. So we talk about this a lot on our small YouTube channel, but the the idea of the opportunity zones it, it came about so that areas that were in distress would get capital and. Um, for yeah. that, the investors would uh, be allowed to take advantage of zero capital gains over a long period of time, right? So an, a, a, a determined investment for a long period of time, you get, you get to basically sell at market value after 10 years. As long as you're invested for at least 10 years, you sell at market value, which means you pay zero capital gains. The idea is hold that asset. They, right. they want investors yeah. to invest provide affordable not, housing, not flips, not totally. flip. Right. Yeah. So you hold that asset for a 10 year period of time right. or whatever the rules are. And the government says, because we want you to invest in these lower income areas, revitalize neighborhoods, yeah. we'll give you tax incentives, right? Yeah. That's opportunity zones are in the States. That's correct. Puerto Rico though. I mean, there's probably just a few pockets in Puerto Rico, right? Where you can do opportunity zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there is 98, 97, 97 percent of, of the island. island. Yeah, yeah. Small pockets that you can't do it. Um, I mean, you really have to work hard. You live in one that's probably not an probably opportunity not opportunity. Zone. There's maybe two uh, or three places on the whole island: but Dorado, Condado, Palmas. So, so you're telling me I could be oceanfront and be opportunity zone? That's what I say. You, you can invest in A plus real estate, oceanfront, inside of an opportunity zone, combine it with an Act 60 and get 40% tax credits. This is only in Puerto Rico. And I tease uh, some people where I'll say, find that in the US, right? And, and, we're, and you, don't need, you don't need a passport or a visa. Right. We're US territory. Yeah. We're on the US dollar. Now, Spanish is a big thing, right? So yeah. that's their main language. But do you speak Spanish, Robert? I'm learning. You're learning a little I, bit. I didn't speak a word when I came. And, and you're getting uh, by fine. I get by fine, and I and I have a great teacher, so I'm 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 learning. I can order yeah. my coffee really well right now. <laughs> yeah, but the point here is, you're you we're 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 underneath the U.S. territory, so you can come to the island. You don't need visas and passports. Right. We're on the U.S. dollar. Yeah, and you can invest and you can combine the two of those if you wanted, right? You could yep. do a hospitality and an opportunity That's zone. Right. And that's that's what we're like geared up towards. That's like all. We're we're just all going in. for that. Yeah. We are doing some stuff where if we find a great deal in Palmas, we'd still You'll we're still not we're not going to take disregard the low hanging fruit. We'll still yeah. we'll still do these deals, but we're really looking for opportunity zones combined with this Act sixty tourism play, and we think that it's again the only in Puerto Rico and the best of the best that there is out there. High returns on on assets that would otherwise be great deal of a lifetime deals anyway and de-risk them and oh by the way live in paradise i mean it just yeah. doesn't get any better than that really so. i mean i was telling you I, my family absolutely loves it here i mean yeah. we're the oceans we look at the ocean our kids are just thriving here yeah i mean we homeschool but our kids are really thriving here so it's been such a good move for our family and for my business, I'm doing some luxury, some luxury flips. I've talked a little bit about it on the channel here because there's a demand for 
uh, luxury here, mm -hmm. but I'm also very excited to follow in the same path, which is the hospitality inside opportunity zone and really maximize those returns. Yeah. I mean, essentially, we'll talk about it on another video, but we're putting together um, a, a hotel deal that will, re will literally provide income tax-free. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay tax on that income. And that's, yeah. that's so massive when you start earning money and start paying taxes, it's your biggest serious. cost is, is that tax mm -hmm. that, that you fall into, your tax bracket. You're, so, you're also saving on property taxes and uh, you're, you're saving on, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a 4% corporate tax inside of the Act 60. So it, it, it's really like the gift that just keeps giving. Okay, so Robert, let's talk now about some of the challenges, some of the downside you and I have a major advantage over mainlanders in that we're here. And I always tell people to really do well here, you gotta be willing to get a little gritty, you gotta roll up your sleeves, you gotta get your hands dirty. And why is that? What is the challenge with sourcing, finding deals, and managing projects in, on the island? Yeah, so it's everything, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> it's technology, it's, it's a language barrier for some of us. Um, it's employment, it's... Uh, it's uh, sourcing materials. It's it's everything that you have problems with in the states. They get amplified times here ten on the island. <laughs> yeah, if, if we 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 would say that if we we're told it's going to take a week, it's a month. A month is six months or a year, and and a, and a year might be a decade. So yeah, <laughs> you yeah. just have to keep fighting and working hard. And one thing I would say about that is that it has every time always been worth it. So. We complete these projects, and yes, they, they go over in time mainly. That's, that's usually the hardest thing. And then with this recent uh, run-up in costs of goods and things like that, some things have gotten more expensive. I mean, you're building high-end houses. You're, yeah. you're going to experience that and oh, see that. Uh, the, the cost to build these things has skyrocketed. But I, again, I can't stress enough that every time it has been worth it, right? Like yeah. It's just the spreads. The, for me, and I, and I suspect for you, real estate, it's all about buying it right. And so Puerto Rico has offered that to us, where if, if you're willing to get out there and work 12, 15 hour days, and I've heard you talk about driving for dollars, mm. there's not really any other way in Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, the, there's no list, yeah. there's no- There's no data. There's no data. There's no MLS really. Yeah, you, you can't look on Zillow and say, oh, this, this property's worth this much because of these other houses that you, are sold. You can't comp properties. You can't comp things. You, you have to build relationships. You need to know people who know the areas. I, I've seen you talk about yeah. that in the past, but it's just so true here. And so that is right, that we have a huge advantage in, in that we're here and that we're willing to do that. Uh, but some people that are watching that perhaps want to partner with you or I or, or, or things like that, our, our business is about partnerships. That's how we scale. Right. So, That's uh, what I wanted to talk about. So you've built uh, your business with a lot of equity plays, a lot of partners, a lot of private capital. Yeah. Um, I have, I've done that as well quite a bit. I've also leveraged a lot of debt, which is I'm finding to be extremely challenging here, yeah. but not impossible and it's coming. Uh, and if you're not if you're not familiar with what I mean, it means getting credit from banks. Uh, you know, cheap. I call it cheap money versus mm -hmm. expensive money. Yep. But if you're watching this video and you're like, man, I've got capital to deploy, what I would say is, maybe rather than jump on a plane and come to Puerto Rico, unless you're committed to that, really commit to that. If you are, if that's not you, then you really need to build a team on the ground here that's sourcing, finding deals, operating deals, and you can tie into those. Robert n never has too much money. I never have too much money. The more money I have, the more deals I can put together. Yeah. So that's what I would say. I would say if you've got some capital and you want to put it to work and you want a phenomenal return and great investments, leave a comment, reach out to me, reach out to Robert. We'd, we'd love to sit down and talk to you about how you can get your money to work in Puerto Rico. And, uh, and there's lots of ways to participate. You can participate low risk with just debt on your money and earn a great return. You can, depending on the way we situate the deal, you could be an equity partner. There's so many different ways to structure deals. Yeah. I guess the point though is, if you see the opportunity that we're seeing and you wanna take advantage of the massive tax advantages and the tax credits and everything that's going on in, a, in an economy that's really going nowhere but up. We've got nowhere to go here but up. It's all it's all kind of blue skies right now, Be, right? It, we're, Even we're, with what's going on in the state side, I believe we've got complete insulation here right now. I agree with that it's, because we've got the most beautiful beaches. Mm -hmm. 
It's a place where people want to come. And people have just discovered that Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. I mean, and with, with the big flu that happened, and they realize now that they can come without a passport. You know, 60% of the people back home don't have a passport, right? So yeah. when they're thinking about going to the Caribbean, almost everywhere else you need a passport. Yeah. So Puerto Rico solves that problem for a lot of people. It's and a- they do some sweet deals. I just flew our nanny back here from after the summer. I got her ticket from Utah for 250 bucks. <laughs> That's amazing, huh? Yeah. And wow. so not always they're that way, but I mean, the point is, is it's so easy for tourism to come here. Yeah. That it's as the islands improves, it's just momentum. Yeah. Because when you go to old San Juan and you see everything getting fixed up, more people are going to be coming. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys catch the vision of that. Thank you, Robert, for talking. You know, big picture. Thanks. Robert does a lot of videos about specifically Puerto Rico. He does some other videos, but a lot of videos about Puerto Rico investing. You do a lot of interviews with key people on the island. You walk through on some of your projects and deals. Mm-hmm. So if you guys want an even better idea, a bigger picture of what it's like doing real estate, yeah. be sure to check out Robert's channel. I'll put the uh, link also in the description below. But seriously, if you're looking to really get involved on the island, reach out to me, reach out to Robert. We'd love to talk to you about opportunities here and get your money working for you in, a, in, a, in an amazing place. That's right. Thanks a lot, Jerry. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. you. And guys, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video.